basically, in America, there is a Starbucks drink and it's called the Unicorn Frappuccino. And it looks amazing. It is the best, most nicest looking drink I have ever seen. But the thing is, is that you can only get it in America or Canada. So today I'm making my own DIY Unicorn Frappuccino. I really love the look of the Unicorn Frappuccino and I'm so excited to make this. I heard that it's a little bit sour and it's also got mango in it so that's what we're gonna do with the make that we're making now. We're gonna make it a little bit sour and we're also going to put mango in it. I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day and are smiling lots. Keep on smiling, I love you guys. Firstly, I'm going to show you all the ingredients and things that you need to make this drink. Firstly, you're going to need a grande Starbucks cup to make it look good. So you've got the Starbucks effect when you've made your drink. You want to get strawberries, mm, yummy. This drink is also a bit fruity, so yeah. I'm going to be using unsweetened almond milk. I think that almond milk is the best tasting milk I have ever tasted. You also want to get raspberry coolies. This is going to help give it a bit of a sour taste. I wanted to make this drink taste as close as possible to the actual drink so you guys can have the flavor of Starbucks America. You want to get some lime. Lime is going to help it to be a bit sour. You want some whipped cream. You want some vanilla ice cream. This is soy vanilla ice cream so it's vegan. You also want to get some mango sorbet. You want pink food coloring. I've also got blue food coloring. We've got vanilla Starbucks syrup. This is going to help it have more flavor and make it taste more like Starbucks. You also want to use crushed ice. If you crush it beforehand, it's going to make it so much easier to blend. Pink glimmer sugar, like, you know, sprinkles and stuff. Let's get into making our drink. You want to put a little bit of milk in the saucepan and add some white chocolate chips. Once you have melted your white chocolate chips, it should look like this. Now we're going to put in blue food coloring. And then you want to mix it up. And once you've done that, it should look like this. And then you want to put this into the freezer for about 10 minutes. Firstly, you want to put your strawberries in the blender. And then you want to put your mango sorbet in the blender. You also want to put your crushed ice in the blender and you want to put in your raspberry coolie. And then you want to put a little bit of milk, not too much, and add a little bit of lime. After you've done that, you want to use your pink food dye and then also a shot of vanilla syrup. And then you want to blend it up. And now you want to get your Starbucks cup and you also want to get your white chocolate blue stuff. You want to get some of the blue white chocolate onto a spoon. You want to put it around the Starbucks cup. And once you've done that, your cup should look like this. And then your drink should look like this. You want to finish it off with some whipped cream and some sprinkles. And there you go. You have your Starbucks Unicorn Frappuccino. I'm so proud of this. Yay! Now I'm going to do a taste test. Oh my gosh. This tastes so fruity and nice. I really love the flavor and it tastes really good. I recommend to all of you that you try this DIY Unicorn Frappuccino. I really enjoyed making this, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos every single Thursday because I upload most weeks. And I'll see you guys next Thursday. And click the bell to be notified when I upload. I love you. Bye, guys.